I'm going to talk about a 3D uh, printed hood louver um, system for my 66 Cobra. I've uh, been talking about it with my friends for quite a while that take the cars out for track days. Um, and uh, how do I get rid of some of the heat under the hood uh, as well as drive air over the car instead of all underneath the car. So we're going to talk about how I printed this um, on my 3D printer and uh, the other steps involved. Here's the design of the louvers I'm cutting for the hood, or printing for the hood on my Cobra. Um, I've designed them so that when I cut the hole in the hood, that the flange slips in all the way through the hood and barely sticks out the underneath side. So I can just use uh, silicone uh, to hold the, the louvers in. So this is design. Um, you could pretty much use any, there's several different uh, applications out there on the internet that you can either buy or download for free uh, to design something like this. So um, it's pretty open uh, depending on uh, which one you know, I guess. Uh, it doesn't matter really if you're learning new. I don't really have any recommendations on um, programs at this point. Uh, I've just been kind of learning as I've gone. So this is the design. I just wanted to show it to you. Um, uh, so you can kind of have an idea what it looked like in 3D uh, before I print it. All right, this is the filament that I'm using uh, to print the pieces. It's an ASA uh, filament. It's a little bit more expensive than PLA um, and more expensive than ABS, but it supposedly has the same heat properties as a ABS, uh, but is supposedly easier to print. And uh, this spool of ASA cost me, I think, between thirty-five and like thirty-eight or thirty-nine dollars uh, U.S. Um, for one kilogram. Um, I think there's a several manufacturers that manufacture this type of material, uh, so we'll see how well it does. Uh, so I'm using an Ender 5 Pro um, that's been modified uh, to print the uh, hood louvers. As you can see, it's got a um, enclosure that I built uh, out of uh, some printed 3D printed parts, uh, 20 by 20 uh, aluminum extrusion. And then I had some aluminum laying around the house and that I bent up as well for like the bottom of the cabinet uh, and stuff. Um, I did this so I could eventually print some uh, a, uh, ABS uh, on hot more um, materials that require high heat. But uh, right now uh, I don't have a heater in there. So I'm just using the bad heat uh, to heat the chamber. One thing I did uh, when I printed out the louvers themselves is I made this handy dandy template here. <laughs> handy dandy is a technical term, as you know, um, to mark out how the, you know, cut the holes in the hood so they were exact. Um, I wanted to make sure that the, the uh, louvers fit very snugly into the hood so I could just take a little bit of silicone and mount them versus drilling holes and having screws pop up. Um, on the hood. I did tape off the hood, um, both underneath and on uh, top. And then I used a Dromal tool uh, with a large cutting head to cut the hole out. And then I uh, finished it out by taking a round uh, um, drum uh, uh, head, sanding head for the Dromal, and then smoothing everything out. So you can see it's very, very smooth. Um, around the entire piece. The tape kept the paint from chipping um, and stuff, so it's both smooth in, outside of the, uh, of the hood as well as on the inside. Here's one of the louvers. Um, again, we've got to paint them. Uh, I've got to clean them up really well, um, make sure that uh, there's no grease or anything. And I'm going to be painting them with a textured um, paint. Um, it's a textured Rust-Oleum paint um, I've got right here. Um, it's textured. We're going to see if that uh, fills in some of the uh, um, little ridge lines in the print. 
um, because there is a little, they're, they're not real uh, noticeable, I mean, unless you're looking for them, but we're gonna see if this fits, fills it in a little bit uh, better um, than just a regular gloss paint. And plus I like the flat, especially on the hood um, uh, and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna paint them in the morning and then put them in. And then we're gonna run a test um, to see exactly how much air they're really pulling out. See if it, it's actually helping cool the under underhood temperature as well as uh, get rid of some of the pressure under the hood as well. All right, um, we've got the 3D print, louvers printed um, and we just finished the holes in the hood. It took quite a while to do. Um, because we wanted to make sure they were just perfect so when these things slip in we can just have a little bit of silicone to hold them in and they're fairly flush with the um, back side of the, the hood so um, a lot of work um, cutting make sure that these holes are right uh, we've got uh, one we just siliconed in um, we've got a tape to hold it in place um, and we can show, I'll show you how clean it is on the back side. Um, super clean. Uh, the uh, um, hole was really tight, so we just put this little silicone bead around it to hold it from the back side. Um, hopefully, it'll be dry here shortly. And uh, we'll show you um, both of the pieces in um, without the tape on, on the top, of course. And then we'll take it through. Uh, how we're going to test to see how much air is actually coming through the hood uh, vents uh, and the temperatures we see. So uh, we'll be back. As you can see, we've got both louvers installed. Um, you might note that uh, the front, uh, we had to put uh, some edges up uh, to pull more air um, out of the louvers. Uh, we did uh, film, film the um, test uh, to see how much air was coming out, but we lost the footage, of course. Um, we may do uh, another video just showing um, how much air is coming out. Uh, we didn't get as much out of these as we would like, uh, but we figured out that uh, a lot of the reason that is the tunnel, the transmission tunnel under this car is gigantic, as well as uh, the air uh, coming in through that the nose of this Cobra is going right through the radiator down the transmission tunnel, and it actually creates some of it a, a vacuum, um, especially since we have a big air dam that we put on this thing that's pretty close to the ground. So this is what they look like. I think they turned out really well on the close up here uh, of it. I, again, I think they turned out really well. I think they look really cool on the car. Um, as far as the underneath side of the hood, we lifted up here. Both of them came out extremely clean. Um, as far as uh, this just being really nice and neat on, under the hood uh, looking. So there you have it, um, 3D printed louvers. I'm going to do some uh, heat testing on these, and I'll pu publish that in another video. Thanks for watching, and uh, more to come soon.